Hello Internet. Today, I'm going to continue with looking at COBOL. If you've watched the last video, then hopefully you have downloaded and installed an editor, if you haven't already, and you have installed COBOL as well. I also showed you how to create and save a file in COBOL with the .cob extension. If we look at this traditional Hello World program, I know it's very sort of cliche, but hey, I don't want to break with tradition. Let's have a look at the, the, the program and break it down into its parts. This program is just a, a simple program to check that everything is working okay. In order to see if it's working, then we need to go over to the uh, terminal and you can find, if you go to view and then appearance, and then if we look down, you'll see show panel. And so that will, that will show the panel and uh, it will also show the the terminal there as well you can move the panel around you can like move it to the bottom uh, I want to move it to the right there um, and here you can you can see if I extend this a bit <coughs> You can see all of the other things here, like problems, output, terminal, debugger. You want terminal. That's what we're going to have today. And then navigate to where you save the file. Hopefully you've created a file that's along the lines of something like COBOL files and you've saved your files there and you know where it is. We're going to use the command line interface to navigate to it. So. Um, ls that's list we can see what's going on here and then you use cd that's change directory we've got COBOL files so if you hit the tab file path for you and then you can just go to return list again and see what's in there on shells and I also have uh, PDF shells because that's where I've saved the file and I'll explain that in a minute right now so now we can see that there are two files in here with the cob extension it, it's a bit difficult to see because it, it's it's not they don't they don't tend to make it very easy to look at <laughs> some people can find it easy to look at but others it's it's not so easy to look at you it's difficult sometimes to see what's actually going on so if I just highlight it there you see COBOL this is these are two files that I saved earlier and they're called shells because um, a shell or boilerplate or skeleton is a basic program with the minimum amount of code that is necessary. With COBOL there is a very set way of doing things and it can be very precise and that's what I want to um, explain next but first of all we're going to get this uh, we're going to get this working. So I want, I want to go to the, the hello world file. I wanted to show you those files first and then I'm going to talk about those. So uh, C D space dot dot that will take you back up a directory. And then we do list again. And then um, I've got another file there, day one. That's just there. Um, so if I change directory into that and then do list, we can see that I have uh, some programs in here. 
Now there is helloworld.cob and sentences.cob. These, these files are, are the files that I've written. These are the extensions, these hello world and the sentences that I, I created them by doing the, the following. Let, let's find the command for it. Mm. It's C-O-B-C space hyphen X space and then you would put the file name in here. So if I do hello world C-O-B and now I hit return. Um, it's, it's giving us a a warning about this bottom line here and it doesn't like it that there is a number there so if I take that out and we must have this this empty line here we, we will need that empty line so we we'll keep that in and now if I go back and now run it again now there's no problems it's fine now to run the program I do dot slash and then I do the name of the file and there it is it just a simple program that prints out hello world so let's just uh, uh, summarize that section you have to navigate to where you saved the file once you get to the file you have to compile it by using the command line interface and that's c that's this bit cobc space hyphen x file name dot extension which is cob and then to run it you do dot slash and then hello world in this case because that's the name of the file and hit return and then the result is outputted just below this section down here it's just saying that it's ready for another command so now if we look at the actual code itself you'll notice that there are these uh, lines, there are these numbers down the side. I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, but there, there are these identification division. There is program ID, which gives you the name of the program. And it is good convention to make sure that your program ID is the same as your file name. And then you've got author, um, environment division, data division procedure division these divisions are a particular characteristic of this programming language where you always have these four divisions so you have these four divisions which are broken down into paragraphs so there are these there's this own particular grammar you have the divisions you have paragraphs and you have sentences um, in the procedure division that's where you're going to have your actual program that is going to run the data division that's for um, data the environment division that is for um, what environment it's going to be running in and your program ID under the identification division program ID really is um, it, it's a mandatory paragraph and hello world the file name is a, a mandatory sentence and that's a little bit out of keeping with the rest I'll, I'll explain what I mean here if I if I highlight this bit the procedure division where we're going to have the code that actually runs you've got a program begin 
Now this program begin is a paragraph of procedure division and program done is a paragraph of procedure division. The display hello world is a sentence of this paragraph and we have stop run which is a sentence of this paragraph here program done okay so I, I know it, it's a bit strange at first but after a while you get used to it you you, you get into it and you realize that it, it, it has to be done in just the right way otherwise your program is not going to work we have the numbers that are, are down the side here and let's talk about those this is the number sequence area so this this first one two three four five six uh, uh, characters um, are the the number sequence and they, they always go up in hundreds mm -hmm. We now have this space. You'll notice that there's a space. You see these two two bars. There is these two bars that is are between the numbers and the uh, uh, program. There, you can you can if you want put an asterisk in there and then make a comment. That's what it's there for. It doesn't really seem to do a lot else. And I, I'm. Maybe it does do something else, but I haven't read about that yet. I have certainly read about the comments, so you you would you put put an asterisk in there. Um, this is a comment. That's that's what that does there. It just say uh, yeah. Other than that, it just seems to separate these two. Um, the second, uh, the third area is called area A and that's where you're going to put all of this programming type stuff in that area and it also has columns as well from 8 to 11 is area A and in this area is where you want to start this kind of stuff that's in the program and it's good convention to start right at the beginning of that area Area B is um, from column 12 to 72. So it, it, it goes right away across to this other line here. The last area is from column 73 to 80. So you have 80 columns because remember the, the COBOL, perhaps you don't know, the COBOL would be put onto punch cards so it has to be done in a very sort of precise way um, because you put the punch cards into the machine just to prove to you that the, this program does work um, if I put in there for now then I save it and now if I run the program, I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to compile it again. Um, let's see if I do. It still says hello world. <laughs> so I will have to compile it again. Actually, if I give this, uh, no, I'll leave that. Um, world, and now do It, it says it there so you will have each time you change something you're gonna to have to compile it again um, is all for now apart from I did want to there was something else that I wanted to say actually is source format free now that's good because when you put in these numbers in if you suddenly decide well I, I want to put something else in in here like you know if I want to put another another line in it does that 
and these numbers they don't change so you have to change them manually which can be a bit of a problem maybe there's a shorthand way of doing it if there is let me know <laughs> um, so uh, you can you can do this source format free which it will make life a, a, a whole lot easier for you so in in this uh, um, program again we put and you can select the keywords there's a certain amount of, of keywords that there there are in COBOL that you can use and you can memorize them all if you want so now I, I've got to navigate to this file if I if I change the the name of this could it buy and then if I go to save as and uh, what do we call it buy there everything must end in a period <clears throat> so if I um, compile this and now it works and now if I do that it comes up with the output which is buy and that's it that's the lesson for today just to summarize COBOL is a, a language like any other which is a set of instructions that give a computer um, so that it performs certain tasks. You have four divisions, identification division, environment division, data division and procedure division. Identification division is where you're going to name the program. Procedure division is where you're going to write the program and program begin it which is a, a paragraph you have within the paragraphs you have display you have columns that go from one to eight which are, are for numbering you have a seventh column which is where you put your comments you got columns that uh, um, go from eight to 11 which is area A and then you've got area B which goes from uh, 12 to 72 and then there is this undefined column which is 73 to 80. If you want to uh, compile a program then you use the COBCX and if you want to run the program you use dot and slash and that's it for now <laughs> apart from it is it is important to put this extra line in after stop run um, COBOL you've got to get it right even with the looser syntax you've got to get it right otherwise it just will not run so that's it I'm out of here bye I really hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and come and check out my channel and see what else I do.